Hi right, guys here from UK Angling and today me and my brother Rob are on Rockler Lake on Great Linford Lakes Complex in Milton Keynes and we're targeting pike. After a dull morning of no fish action um, and no bites or indications we decided to move on to Heron Lake and it wasn't too long before my brother Rob managed to get into the action. Just had this uh, nice little uh, six pound pike on a on a smelt. Uh, fish deal on Heron Lake at Linford. And, uh, yeah, the old float went under. Uh, very, very close in, just under the rod tip pretty much. And uh, yeah, this was the result. A few moments after my brother's fish, I ended up catching one. We saw this fish actually attack my float out in open water before it ended up getting hooked. So it was a really nice early indication that there was a fish in the area. As soon as I saw the float start to move, I struck straight into it and managed to land this one without too much drama. Wonderful. And here we have it. This one just went eight and a half pounds. Um, yeah, a cracking little specimen. It's been a hard day, but looks like we finally found a few fish. Let's get this guy back and see if we can catch a few more. So in today's session I thought I'd quickly show you how we're fishing with, the, we are float fishing for pike. So I'm using a two and a half pound test curve rod, I've got about 12 pound main line on and onto that I've slid a small float stop and down from that I've got a sliding pike float which will run up to the stop so you can set the depth. Down from that I've got a small buffer bead and then an inline weight, the, the float's about 30 grams and this is about 20 gram weight so it'll keep the float cocked um, and then down from there attached to the swivel onto a trace where I've got two treble hooks and for this one I've got a, a nice piece of smelt and the other rod I've got a piece of lamprey I just had that fish on the lamprey and it hit it really aggressively it was one of those ones we were watching the floats and the fish actually attacked the float first before it hit the bait um, then as soon as you see that float start to move strike straight away because you don't want a deep hooked pike that's the last thing you want so hit it nice and early as soon as you see any movement hit it hard because they've got bony mouths uh, get the hook set and then get the fish on and in the bank as quickly as you can to avoid losing it or doing any damage. Unfortunately that was the last fish of the trip but we were graced with a beautiful rainbow um, which came in just before the sun started to set and that was the end of our session. See you again next time guys, thanks for watching.